What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine DG back with another banger. And before, first and foremost, before I start this video, I do want to say thank you guys for 1,000 subs. We have surpassed a thousand subscribers, so I do appreciate you guys for that, making that possible. This is going to be possible without you guys supporting, watching all of my videos. So thank you guys so much for that. And we will be grinding. I might start posting two times, three times a day now. I'm gonna really start starting trying to be grinding now. But we got a package that I've been waiting for from eBay for a while now. Well, not that long, probably like a week, week and a half or so, two weeks max. But um, yeah, man, I've been like, waiting and excited to unbox this package. So we gonna unbox and I'm wearing these for work today as well. So I'm gonna show y'all what fit I'm gonna wear. And then I'm gonna show y'all the shoes. So um, yeah, without, oops, I almost fell. Without further ado, we're gonna get into it. But let me get, and I'm thinking I should wear my, my big car gloves. I don't know. I might wear my big car gloves with them. I'm thinking about it. Let me turn this alarm thing off. Cause we're gonna start vlogging. Dang, ain't no light in here, bro. All right, we're gonna start, um, you know what I'm saying, vlogging more often. You know what I'm saying? But, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show y'all the fit first, then we're gonna unbox it. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, y'all, so here we have a package. I only got the light on. I don't think I need it on, to be honest. But this would be the fit for today. Today, graphic t-shirt day, but I really don't have no graphic shirt. So we're gonna have my big cargo pants with the car shirt. And uh, we about to open this package. I'm excited, we're gonna put it on feet and everything. And I'm gonna edit it once I come back to the house. So, um, yeah, man, I'm gonna edit it at work too. So, as y'all can see, we got this package from eBay. Once again, this is our second time shopping on eBay for shoes, I believe. No, 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 third time. Cause we got some easy boot, easy toe boots, Balenciaga boots. No, no, Balenciaga triple S's. Yeezy totes, and now we're about to unbox some Rick Owens. So here we have it, Dark Shadow. This is my second time. This is my first time, like actually keeping a pair. No, 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 that's that's cap, that's cap. Because I had all together pairs that I like well, were. I had two pairs before, and then this is another pair. The one first pair I had was Adidas collab. Second pair was Dark Shadow, no lace. I got from cents for more than this price that I bought, which is crazy. I got this for a good price, as you guys can see. Size 45, 100% authentic. And I'm gonna start doing that in them videos too. How to authenticate your rig on, Dark Shadow, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause them, them be going crazy, I ain't gonna cop. So here we go, Dark Shadow. As y'all can see, when y'all open it up, we got the plastic. We're gonna put the shoes to the side, but here go to this how the shoes looking. You know, we got them new, supposedly brand new. So it's just like dust on them. And we got the little uh, eBay tag. But these look nice, they real thick. Thick so. So we're gonna put these to the side. Cause I wanna show y'all some of the things that y'all should see with an authentic pair that's brand new. So for one, we should have a dark shadow card. I don't know why y'all could still hear that beeping. I thought I just turned it off, but oh well. Presented by Owens Court. Presented by Owens Court. Dark Shadow. So this pretty much should just be a menu on how to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, in different languages, but this English. So that's one. No, put it back in there. So it should have a some type of card and most of them also will have a dark shadow dust bag all the dark shadow dust bags should have the look embroidering down here and it should be like a dark brown type color and I always every time i get them they always like have like um not stains but like spots and stuff oh and just to get out of the like warning well, not a warning, but I'm getting rid of these 
because I really I wore them a couple times and I'm, I'm like you know switching that out. But just as like so you know, a comparison, you know what I'm saying? Thick soles, you know. That's the, that's the wave I'm kind of on right now. But I'm taking everything out. You know, as so I can see, we got another eBay authentication tag. So that's pretty much it for how the box look. Now we're gonna wrap everything back up. I'm pretty sure it's like this. You know what I'm saying? This way. Then the other way was like this. I'm assuming. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna just put all the ways like this. To be honest. Yeah, this way. Like this, I guess. I don't know. But we're just gonna have a nice and neat in there. We're gonna put the car back. And we're gonna put the dark shadow bag on top. That's a nice little dust bag. I actually, a lot of people, what I don't see a lot of people doing, you could take, because I've seen somebody do it with a Kasubi bag, but you could take a picture with this bag, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could do a lot. You know, even though it's a dust bag, you could still do a lot with it. You could put actual items in here, so that's a W. And we're gonna put the eBay tags in here. Since this one got it, and we're gonna take the wrapping out so we can really get into the shoe and like what you should be expecting. Cause I'll be seeing a lot of people when they be taking their pictures, they don't really know how to take it. So y'all see it's made in Italy, size 45. We got we got some black wrapping paper, so you should be expecting black wrapping paper if they're brand new. You know what I'm saying? We got everything OG all, which is a W. And then it's the back, it's like a little sticker right there. Uh, trying to see how the sole look. The sole has dark shadow. Let me clear that off for y'all. Yeah, it say dark shadow, but it's hard to read. Even like in person. Okay, there you go. Dark shadow. As y'all can see. And we have no more paper. And this feels like a hard hard shield toe but the rest is like a mesh type and um yeah man they look pretty nice so we're gonna put these down just like that we're gonna take these out and i'm gonna actually cut this off so i could actually wear it because we don't wear tags that we get from companies you know what i'm saying so same thing with the other shoe so i can see dark shadow all this mesh area the quality is good the bottoms are hard dark shadow at the bottom you know what i'm saying then at the top all the way that's how the sole should be looking details y'all see the stitching you know what i'm saying and y'all see the stitching up top all the way so this is what i'm gonna start doing like i said not only doing reviews but legit checking and then as y'all can see down here just like the pattern of the front. And um, yeah. So not only are we gonna just be reviewing shoes, but we're gonna be legit checking them, which is a dub. Now I should be able to, but I don't think I can, so I'm gonna have to cut it. But y'all see, we got the EB authenticity tag. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna record them on feet. And uh, stay tuned for the on for review. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm replacing them with the Balenciaga, so I'm able to fold them in there, put them in there sideways. So that's what we, how we gonna have them. But uh, I'm about to put them on now. So in the next clip, y'all gonna see me with them on feet. So in three, the minor toes, two, one. We gonna get dripped out. All right, y'all see the belt, and this is how they look when I put them on. They look real nice. I ain't gonna cut. Feel like I'm six feet. I feel like I grew a couple of inches, so this is a dub. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you know. And I'm out, bro. Gang, gang.
right though y'all so for my review for the rick owens they not bad i had to fix the sole because these are boots i just thought about it so they probably better off for the like the winter time or when it get real cold it's not that cold it's still like 70 degrees out here my foot was sweating but i probably wouldn't wear them on a long shift like too crazy but i know i will be wearing these during the winter time i do like them a lot um I'm about to take them off and show y'all the damage I did, but it's not that bad. So we're about to get straight into it, man. Let's get it. All right, though, so give y'all an idea what I re uh, wear today. I wear a Balenciaga belt. I have the Balenciaga socks. The main reason I have the long socks was because it don't make sense wearing long socks. I mean, long boots with short socks. So let me show y'all the damage I did today. Not bad. I know I'm probably break them in some more, but they really are nice. I actually messed up the back to one of these. I ain't gonna cut my damn. This is the left one. So this was the inside, which y'all can see. I need the, like, I might switch out my insoles. Cause like, it's sweat for like, my foot was sweating at the edge, but then it's all creased up. And every time I put it back in there, it's creased up, so. Then yeah, that's our thing, so uh, the authentication as well. But yeah, don't mind that. So I'm probably change my SO. See if that'll work. But here go the other one, same thing. Ended up getting real damage. I don't know why, but I'm gonna change the insoles for those with these right here. Right, let me show you how the inside look too. Let me show you the right shoe. This is where I messed it up at. I, I got it caught on the door. So I can see right there. But I got little scrapes and stuff already. They are some big boots, so. But this, these are really nice boots. I really like them. You know what I'm saying? And let me get the, uh, I believe the insole should be in this one. I think so. But I'm not too sure. Or no, they might be in here. Oh yeah, so they they in my Jordan. So I'm gonna see if one of them could fit. Cause if that's the case, then I'm gonna just use these insoles. Which are the Dr. Show's insoles. And I cut them to where it fits a size 12, I believe. So, or 11 and a half, but we gonna see if they fit. So give me one second and I'm gonna see if it fits inside the shoe. So it seems like they fit perfectly inside. So I'm about to try it on and see what it's talking about. Cause if that's the case, then I'ma just end up wearing them with the uh, different insoles and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, but it definitely does make a difference. Plus it's different insole in here. So we are gonna see how uh, I walk out with these, with the insole in it. It seems like it's moving a little bit. Not really, no. Plus it's a Dr. Show insole. And these not bad, but these way thinner. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put these back in the box. I'm gonna get everything situated. But yeah, we gonna rock out with these insoles. So we gonna see how that do. But this how they looking. I might wear these tomorrow. We gonna see, I probably got it. Give my foot a break. But uh if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro. Good game.